we're growing up without borders. Today we would like to welcome you to Go Sri Lanka. And before you watch this video, make sure you subscribe as we take you to every country in the world. And boy is it hot. In today's video, we traveled from Ella to Gaul, which is along the southwest coast of Sri Lanka. It's known for Gaul Fort, the fortified old city founded by the Portuguese colonist in the 16th century, stone sea walls expanded by the Dutch, encircled car-free streets with architecture reflecting Portuguese, Dutch, and British rule. We stayed at the beautiful Jardin du Fort, where we enjoyed French crepes for breakfast and the girls even learned how to make homemade croissants. Join us as we show you around this beautiful town and show you all the fun things to see and do. Right now, driving right through an elephant park and this is so cool, there's all these elephants all over the world. So at this time of the day, all you'll see is cows because apparently the elephants come out closer to 5 p.m. I guess there's no elephants till nighttime, guys. Shucks. Actually like a reserve that you drive through. Isn't that neat? It's starting to remind me of being in Africa. Hey guys, we spotted an elephant, so here it is. safari tours. This is the um, beautiful highway that we would love to be on. We are on it. We are on it for, for like a split second, but Google showed us this highway being open and it's not open. So, you know, a 200 kilometer drive is taking about mm, seven hours. Driving What's that? We're driving on a closed highway right now. It's under construction still. Gives us lots of video editing time to do though. Oh yeah, it's the Chinese building the highways here. Hey, they're waving. And this is the non-highway road that we're taking. We'll call you to come to the airport and then one hour pull. Cool. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, one hour. Hey, scarecrow. Oh, stuck by cats. Oh, that is Julia, you scared me. <laughs> How oh, stop. Those babies. Of it. So that's the bread truck I've been telling you guys about. It goes around every city, every village, so that people know, kind of like the ice cream truck, that the bread truck is here to go get their bread. We made it. We are in the Fort Gaul. Look at this. We're down these little tiny ruels. Look at this beautiful place. 
they got marionettes here. So we just arrived at what is called, it's a French name, and it's called Le Jardin du Fort. So it's the garden of the fort, and it says a romantic hotel. And you will see in daylight, when I show you all tomorrow, how beautiful it is. It's like they have all these artifacts and cool decorations that we walked by. But this is where we're sleeping for the next few nights here, right in the city center, right in the fort. You have to cross through the gates to get here, and it's like being in a different world inside of Sri Lanka. This is our room. This is where we're sleeping for the next few nights. Beautiful swans. That is nice. A nice big king size, looks like a comfy bed. This is, this is the bathroom. bathroom. There we go. Nice shower head. Oh yeah, look at the shower head in here. Beautiful. It was the longest journey, other than being in the Ukraine, longest car journey that we've had in a long time and because we did a hike today and we went and took some cool pictures we're all hot so we're gonna freshen up like going like this falling in bed ah, yeah <laughs> we're gonna freshen up and we're gonna go take a tour outside and find some food The first thoughts of Gaul are? Wait, well, it kind of reminds me of Playa de Tunco in El Salvador. Does it really? Yeah. Okay, this for me reminds me, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't want to compare, but it, it's uh, basically totally developed and it's just like cafe after restaurant after beautiful inn and it's really pretty. So here's the little restaurant we are going to eat at tonight. It's called Lucky Fort Restaurant. It's chicken and curry here, which is all local food, and this is what we got. So we got some chicken spicy curry. This is some plantains, um, star bean, some pumpkin, more chicken, potatoes, a cucumber curry, beans, jackfruit, potatoes, Pineapple, potatoes, and lentil dal. Wow, what a feast we're gonna have tonight. In case you're wondering who this couple is in our video, our next stay in Sri Lanka was in an area called Talala, and we booked a home exchange, and this couple from Russia hosted us. So it was really interesting because he spoke English, she didn't, and man oh man, what an experience we had. So for breakfast, they have either the French, which is bread basket, like croissants and jam, or they've got the traditional Sri Lankan dish, which is coconut roti dal, and then they've got some kota sambul. They've got an English breakfast, or they've got um, croissants, and another thing they have is crepes, which sounds really good. Mm.
It's definitely worth coming to Gaul to discover. You won't need much more than a day though, because as you can see, it's quite small. It's very unique because of the European influence that it has on all the buildings and the architectural styles that you'll see. This, uh, this whole store is absolutely beautiful. We've got this like whole courtyard area. We're, we're literally across the street from where we're staying, and then where we're staying to the the lighthouse is like minutes walk. That's the Not cutest even. outfits. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. This is definitely the little town to come if you want to buy all these cool, beautiful shops and souvenirs. And all the like, it's just, yeah. they have so many unique things. It's all absolutely these cool amazing. Critiques. Yeah. So here in Gaul, there's so many colonial buildings, and one of them here sells Dutch coffee and apple pie. The storms are coming. So behind me is their school. What do you think of their playground, Chloe? It looks a little rusty. This is cricket. So right now we are in the old fort, walking around. This is what it looks like. And there's little monkeys here. Look at it. Look at what the monkeys are doing. Oh, he's attached. That's his monkey. No, because I know it's attached and it's a baby. So here are some fun facts about the fort. It is a UNESCO site. It's made out of coral and granite and was founded by the Portuguese in 1588. So there are churches everywhere. Even the street's called Church Street. This is their old post office here. Here's some of the things you can do here. You can go to the silk factory, which we will be doing. See wood carving. They have spice gardens. You can see the stilt fishermen fishing. They have a turtle farm. Rainforest, Moonstone Mine, a Gem Museum, and coolest of all, look at the whales that you might see here. So the way to do it is start early in the morning at like 7 in the morning and get it done. And then in the afternoon stay indoors where it's like not so hot. And then at night come back out again because then it's not so hot. Yes. Because in midday, kind of do like the so Spanish hot. do. Go for your siesta. We did the total opposite today. We came out, like, we went sightseeing at 12 till like 3, 4 in the afternoon. Yes, we did. We learned the hard way.
So apparently crazy jumpers jump from there into the water. Yeah, that's her daughter Duolingo, she makes homemade ice cream and we are trying it. How is it Chloe? It's good. It's really good. It's like no preservatives, no colorants. Nice and fresh. Alexa. What are you guys doing? No, trying Playing to play a song. Hey Alexa, play Juicy Wiggle. They're walking in the rain. I'm barefoot in the rain. Mmm, <laughs> so good. We're back at our favorite restaurant. We had a smart idea. So you put your rice basically at the bottom, if your curry's on top. Is it a real swing, guys? Let's try it. Yeah. Come on, over here. No, you're supposed to stand on it. Put your leg on it and stand. <laughs> Ready? Swing like Tarzan. Let's give you a push. Yeah. Yesterday they make bridges out of roots. Yeah, in India. In India. So wouldn't this be the same thing? The root of the tree. Yeah, that, that is the root of the tree. Oh. You know what's really unique about this city in Sri Lanka in general is that here you've got a Christian church next to down the street a mosque next to a Buddhist temple. So they have all these different religions all within the one country. And uh, well, they've had problems in the past, but so far right now, so good. So this is the original gate. The other one was added on after. minutes away from Gaul is this cool silk factory where you can see how they make silk and so that's what we're doing next. It's also free to go in and watch them do the whole process. So first you can see that that's the life cycle of that. How many meters can you get? Hundred. From one moth? Hundred. We would, we would give maybe 800 up to one kilometer from one cocoon as a single. From one cocoon? Yeah. This machine is called hand loom machine and this is the traditional way. So after the tour you can do a little store tour and see all their different items that they have for sale. What are you doing right now, Chloe? Shopping at their local market stores. And there's a lot of selection. Actually, I found the one for you. There's maybe one other store. Super short. Show. 
We're having lunch back at our hotel, and the food is amazing. Mm. Delicious salad and pizzas here. How's the food, Chloe? It's good. place to come and watch the sunset is this hotel called the Jet Wing because well there you're gonna see it in one second and of course look at their staircase mm -hmm. <laughs> Sugar. The girls are learning how to make croissants. Sugar for tea. They do that to keep the room cold enough because if not, it gets just so hot here. We just wanted to say goodbye because the other night, basically, we were talking and their the son was learning French. We were like, well, have you ever heard of the app Duolingo? So then, basically, their daughter started doing Duolingo and then we had fun, like, playing with Alexa and stuff. It's really fun. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned because our next video is the coastal area of Sri Lanka in an area called Talala.